and we return for a little bit more Faster Than Light and its expansion, the Advanced Edition. So, I have yet to really show it off, but I think it's now time to show off the Lanius Cruiser. The sharp knife-like structures make Lanius ships a sight to behold. The cruiser was adapted to support the other races of the Federation. So here is the Kuros. And I think I basically have to complete uh, two for the layout of B. Have hacking, mind control, and battery active at once. Scrap hoarder, have at least 600 scrap in your ship storage. That's going to be kind of difficult to possibly get unless you do it easy. And loss of cabin pressure, get to sector 8 without your uh, ship's net oxygen levels exceeding 20%. Hmm. Why would uh, I have auction sort of to begin with on this ship? Oh, I do have auction. So we actually have uh, oxygen, I guess. I guess note that um, this ship, it basically has human on it. So um, I guess that's what the auction is for. But I have two Landis crew members on here, which I obviously drain auction from the ship. Let's hear, let's call this guy Skeletal Mage. And we'll call this guy Nah, we won't call him that. We'll call this guy a skeleton um, berserker. Nope, can't do that. Still not long enough. Um, what's a good short name? Still not short enough. I guess we will call this guy uh, Archer. Because short enough for it. It's Mage, Archer, and this guy will just be... Guess we can't do that. There we go. Elf Necromancer. And just choose Elf. So this ship starts off with a human. But honestly, um... Actually, I, I probably could drain the auction from the ship. All I have to do is have the humans stay there in the piloting. And never basically have them leave, I guess. But then he'll get killed. And all that. Which is not very useful. Whatever, we'll, we'll maybe try and get this guy to sit somewhere. Piling will be fine for him, I guess. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And maybe we'll try and get this achievement. The uh, loss of cabin pressure, get the sector rate without your ship's uh, net auction level. And maybe we'll try and get this one too. So, note that with the Kuros, you can't play this unless you do the advanced edition. And let's just jump into it. And apparently, emergency respirators. Crew takes half damage from low oxygen. Interesting. We actually have this augmentation available for the ship. And we'll call this, I don't know, the um, Living Dead. So, fire, blah, blah. So, note that I basically have access to the uh, chain laser here. What does this do? Improves with conse consecutive shots. So, I guess with more shots, I basically keep firing. Or do I just charge this twice? No idea what that is all about. Let's do this. Actually, I actually want to take this out. I want to put that there. I do want this guy to have auction. But what I can do is basically we're going to open all the doors. Except for these two. And the reason for doing it is just so that there's going to be no option on the ship anywhere except for the piling. This is how I'm going to get the achievement for uh, this guy, you know, this ship, where we're basically going to not have option anywhere in the ship. And as you can see, the option is now 6%. So that's not bad, I don't think. If I want to, I can maybe have this guy man shields, and then th that could be useful, but I mean, it's also kind of detrimental as well. So let's get this going. See how well we get this ship going on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can send my crew in. Well, we didn't get any good out of that, so... Nothing bad happened, but nothing good happened. Uh, blah, blah. This guy's got 
lasers and missiles. This guy's like, you know, a Kestrel, so to speak, in his sort of, uh, setup. But I think we can take him. Alright, what do I want to do? So he's got the same lasers as me, the consecutive chain laser right here, I guess. I think what we're going to do, we're going to maybe shoot this at his weapons. And note that it takes a drone part to fire off, and I can use this to see how he's going to be charging. I'm just going to drain those a little bit before um, he has, you know, a chance to fire those at me and do damage. Okay, we're just going to fire these at his weapons. And that knocked him down a little bit, so that's sort of useful. We only got shields there, so... And we now have plus one, so... I guess we get increased damage now. And he's gonna fire one missile less, so I'll suck, but whatever. There goes his weapons, so those are off. I'm just doing more and more damage, I guess, as, like, basically as like, this battle continues is how it works. That'd be cool. So chain leader goes plus three. I'm not sure how much damage I'm doing to him, but be interesting if that's how it's working. Or maybe it's getting faster every time. Yeah, it's getting faster as I fire it off. So it gets faster every time, I think. Until it gets a plus three. Well, he's dead. Ship breaks apart. Very happy. Be interesting how I'm going to build this ship up. I'm not sure how we're going to build it. Forward scout, he's going to run away. Or try to. I think what we want to do with this guy, we want to disrupt his piloting so that he can't run away. Oh, that is lucky. This guy could have hit that and then, you know, disabled it. We're going to wait for a stuff to charge and fire it at him. No, I lost both my weapons. Well, let's at least charge this up. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to hit something with uh, this. You know, hit that maybe. Would have been useful. Or if it's possible for us to lose charges, by the way. And there goes my weapons yet again. He's viciously hitting the wrong thing constantly for me. Okay, he's gonna actually run away if I'm not, you know, let, let, you know, doing anything here. So I'll delay him a little bit, but he's about to get away. Because he hit my weapons constantly there. Now he's just going to jump. So hacking drone is destroyed. They get to, uh, you know, advance faster on me. That's uh, unlucky that they hit my weapons twice. Nice, so you lose one drone part to hack it. That's something a hacking that you can do for you. And there's nothing in there, so that kind of sucks. Should have just fought the drone, I guess. I probably should have healed my thing here. But oh well. He fires that off. We're going to fire this at him. So this is a drone, so he has high evasion or higher evasion than usual. Because he'll have, like, you know, um, points in there for his autopilot. Oh, my shields took a hit. Those got to get repaired. Alright, I'm gonna fire this at his shields, I think. 
Then we'll fire this at weapons. Good, so I'll take out his weapons. There was my doors, but oh well. It's just doors. We'll fire those as shields. I'll have you go to repair the uh, clone bay. There goes his shield, so those are off. I'm gonna fire at will wherever I want now, so... Let's go after this, so I don't have to keep... ...suffering every single time he, um... Well, you know, he misses all there. And there we go, his uh, thing's disabled. And he's gone. Trip breaks apart, we salvage what we can. Alpiz is happy. Probably a good time to get some power. And engines. Get those up a little bit. I should have this guy on uh, engines at all times so he basically gets some experience when I dodge shots as much as possible. Let's go here. Uh, no, we're gonna basically try and kill you for stuff, loot. Fire those this off until we get rid of his super shield. Okay, that's good. Let's actually take these off for the moment. I'm going to basically charge these at... Pilding. Took another hit there, but oh well, that's fine. He's got a rock crew in his uh, pile, apparently. Let's fire this at... Shields. Fire those off, and we'll go for his weapons with this. So we got rid of his shields, we hit his um, weapons. He's trying to get away. But he cannot. Cool, I'll take that guy. Or do I really want that guy? Here's the thing about uh, my ship. I'm not really specializing in keeping pilots alive and all that. We're, we want crew members, and this is probably the only real way we're going to get them, so... I suppose this is like the real task for the ship. You only keep so many guys, and... At the same time, you do want, you do want to keep these guys, too. Okay, I'm going to let the auction sort of come in here for a little bit. We're possible to try and get the auction in there too. Let's get this guy out here. Whoa! I did exactly what I didn't want to do. Twice. I do want this guy in doors. Doors is useful, but. Basically, I mean, all I'm really getting is like you know, improve uh, fire spread immunity, and it makes it hard for people to board me. Getting scanners might be a little bit e um, more interesting. So let's go in here for a little bit. And do that. We'll have scanners so I can see what's going on. So not all my guys are injured, but at least they'll get healed. But healed by discs, so that's fine. Apparently this guy's about to explode because, you know, he's only got three systems. Sucks to be him. Let's go to the Nebula to slow down the uh, Robo Fleet a little bit. Looks like we got this guy to deal with. 
he doesn't have any, um, uh, you know, shields, so I'm not really too concerned about his, uh, I'm, I'm concerned about his weapons, but I'm more concerned about his, uh, ability to dodge, so to speak. Because, you know, as I said, these drones have good evasion and such. Yeah, it's gonna hit regardless, so. Ooh, I don't need my auction getting hit. I know this is gonna slow down weapons a little bit, but we're gonna do that anyways. Do this, we're gonna fire these at weapons. There's really no reason to, to sort of, you know, wait on this stuff. I should just be firing off the stuff as much as possible. Okay, let's, let's go into the right spot. Okay, I want to fire this at his pilot. There we go, we managed to cripple that at least, so this guy's done, he's dead in the water, he's done. I basically just have to keep firing until he's dead. So, this is a very interesting weapon to chain laser, it gets faster and faster as you continue on. We can go here. Incoming ship, hostile. And I should probably do this before I forget, so... Station saved, this is where they're all going to basically station these guys for now. There's no reason not to fire these automatically at this guy for now. This is going to hurt, this guy's got burst lasers and this uh, explosion thing there. Oh, my auction took a hit again. Let's actually have you go up. Uh, let's fire this at... Oh, he's still got super shields, this bastard. I also have to, you know, sort of maintain how many of these, like, hacking drones I'm going to be using, too. I wonder if this guy's worth hacking, is a thing. I can't be hacking every single ship that I come after. Yeah, we're gonna just try and wear the swarm of shots that are gonna be hitting me now. We'll fire these at his. There goes his burst laser. That's good enough for me. Also, stun this guy, too. Okay, auction's been repaired, so these guys won't suffocate the pilot and the guy here. We'll hit this guy, so hopefully he can't repair, repair that. I'm actually gonna fire these faster. We still hit the shield room there, but oh well, it's fine. Trying to get away. All right, I could let this guy trade with me a little bit, but I don't really need the fuel. Missiles would be nice, but not really what I'm using on this ship, so. We're going to say no to that. Take that off. There's my sensors, but oh well. We're going to go here. And I guess basically we missed the shield there a little bit, so... Oh well. And boom boom. Damn it, I missed! That sucks. This guy's gonna get away. So I, I should have traded this guy. Oh well. There's, you know, bad luck on my side. I basically don't have the damage to, you know, maybe be able to take out some of these guys sometimes. And I lost some potential scrap there. Uh. 
Oh, well, we got some scrap. Okay, I could go to the store here, but is there anything I really need to buy from the store just yet? So, you know what? We're not going to go to the store. We're going to go here, and then we're just going to do the exit, I think. For now. Uh, it's villain ship. So, it's the alternate pirate interceptor layout. Looks kind of threatening. Let's go to weapons here. See how he's charging them up. And hack him so he doesn't have the chance to fire him immediately. We'll fire these at shields. Fire these at weapons. Nice, we took out his burst laser at least, so that's gone. And this guy's stunned, so he won't be moving around. Hopefully the fire will do some damage here to the last one, too. And because it's hacked, he can't get in there easily. Uh, we'll fire this at engines. I think we're going to let that burn right there. That'll stun his engine guy, so basically he's going to be stunned a little bit longer. Apparently his shields are now damaged, so the engine went there instead. Fire this again there. Fire this again here. He's stunned a little bit more. Knows that I can't hack it because the weapons are destroyed. There goes his uh, engines at least, so he can't dodge. Take those off initially so I can basically use them to go basically damage his uh, shields as much as possible. There goes them. He's trying to get out, so I'm staring him as much as possible. Of course, I think his ship's dead. So, boom. Nice, I got a little bit of repair. Now let's book it to the exit. So there's the first sector explored. A couple mistakes, but more or less we did okay. Um, that's actually a good deal because I'm using drone parts, so accept. Rock controller Zoltan. Let's go to rock. Have fun with the rock people. Let's go there because it basically reaches out to the most points. I'm basically going to look around for stuff to buy and all that. If you encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion, it's a rock crew member explains that the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda that keeps the populace in check and that they want no part of it. They seem tempted to buy your offer, but decide they can't risk being lied to again. They close frequencies and jump away. Oh well. Hmm. Let's go this way. You find a slow cruiser and a rock ship at a standoff, both blah blah blah. So blah blah, the sun kind of explains that the upper rock ship's reactor. Rock kind of says the sun plus did a poor job and it's not worth the green pump price. Blah blah, so he's happy. He gives me a reactor, that's worth it. Let's go this way. Bad times, asteroid field. Gonna have to deal with these guys. Actually, these guys are worth doing with uh, shields. We're in asteroid fields. This guy's gonna constantly take, you know, damage. It's gonna drop that there, and whenever I see an asteroid coming towards them, or if I have discharged up, we're just gonna weigh into them. I think we'll wait, actually. 
Hmm. Oh, this is gonna hurt. There goes my uh, iron stunner. Oh well, just the iron stunner. All right, this is worth doing it now. So I can possibly take down maybe his shields. There goes the shields, so now he's uh, basically prone to being attacked by asteroids. Which would be awesome. Asteroid hits, go! Nope, oh, this look a hit there. I'm waiting for the damn asteroids to hit him, but they're not coming. Kind of sucks. There we go. Now he's on fire. And this is a problem. Oh well. Go help him. There goes his weapons. Cool. Fire goes there now. Fire Deez has uh, weapons too. So he says, uh, blah, 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 don't kill us. He's either offering a drone part, but we're not going to accept that. He must pay. Bye bye. I can send you here. So blah blah, I get all that. We got few fuel. That's pretty good. You took a little bit of damage getting back this guy over here, but oh well. Let's jump down this way. And this guy's, you know, bought into the propaganda. So you have to fight this guy. I'm gonna say this guy's probably not worth using a drone party iron. Let's we'll see if that's a good idea or not. I suppose this is, a, this is the fruits of this ship. It's got the hacking to begin with, but you have to be careful when to use it or when not to use it. This fire just has shields. And then I'll fire this at. What do I care about more? We'll do that. So he can't dodge anymore. This is actually a good opportunity to maybe fire at him instead of uh, the other guys. Maybe I can stun. There we go, they're both stunned in there. So that's great, they're actually incapable of moving around now. For a moment. Fire these as weapons, maybe. Fire these as weapons. He dodged that one, but oh well. No, I keep firing his weapons. There goes weapons. Stun the guy in there, that's fine. Injure him a little bit. Yeah, this guy's worth, you know, not using a hacking drone on. And there goes that rock ship. Bit more stuff. Now, before we continue on, I'm thinking about upgrading my ship a little bit more. Specifically that. So there we go, that's done. And Giant Spire's not jo or we have cloning labs. So here's where we can actually make use of the cloning labs to aid this guy. Um, your crew boards the station cautiously moving between quarters, blah blah. We actually lost the guy, but you take hopeful trip to the clone bay and try your relief, a clone is already prepared for the lost crew member. So, Mage is back. Hi, Mage. Sorry for getting a kill, Mage. But, good job. 
So there's basically a, the fruits of like the clone bay. You can use that to get through that event that will kill your guys. Uh, we're gonna keep our drum parts, Sally. So no. Now there's a stress over here. Do I dare go to it though? I mean, it could be good, but it's probably better to leave it. So this guy's being hostile. Okay, he's got missiles and he's got um, lasers. I think we'll uh, save our drone parts again for this guy. Won't attack him with them. Nice, a miss. I'll take that miss. Fire just has shields. Fire just has weapons. Took those out at least. I was preferring to take that out, but oh well. I'll take what I get. Oh. Sent the guy from the shields over there, apparently. So we're going to fire the chain laser first, then we'll fire just after. To stun him. So basically, this guy was stunned, so he can't fix that for a little bit. That's the plan. Fire this here. That guy's now stunned, he can't move around. Making use of the stun to stun these guys. Drains and locks systems. And stuns them, guys. Fire this at the shields. Uh, we'll fire this at shield guy. That worked out pretty well. Fire this up, up here next, I think. Just to keep him down. And he's gone. So that's done. You gave me a nice drone part too. Let's go here. Are both too busy slowing one another to notice you. Eventually, the small ship gets the upper hand, but they must have blown a fuse and their assault and their weapon system is unoperable now. Time to attack. So, this guy's got no weapons for a little bit. That's kind of cool. But you still have to deal with the borders. Let's see how they like boring my ship with no air. He's actually going to send an NG over. Nope, he's not going to do that. Breathe my non existent air, you bastard. Warm where he's going to go. Probably to the piloting. Yep. We'll send this guy up to aid him. Now work well, I think. Okay, this guy's got um, no weapons, so... Not really worth using a drone part on him. And this guy's about to die, so let's try saving him if I can. We'll fire this at Paladin. And you'll basically try and kill him. We'll send you back. And that's just fine. My pilot took a bit of injury there, but it's fine. Looks like I injured their, uh, or that's the original guy they had, so. Okay, because they're both in there, I want it basically like this. And this. We stunned them! Hooray! And apparently they're sitting in there like idiots. We stunned them! Hooray! And he's gonna go back to get to us, I guess. Yep, he's coming this, this way for me. Hmm. Let's go 
Go like this. I'm gonna send these guys a deal from this time. Enough this, enough of this crap, right? Over here, let's uh, let's make sure he can't do that, like you know, jump or jump back type of thing. So we'll go after shields, and we'll go after his teleporter. There goes his teleporter. He can't run away. And this guy's gonna basically drown in air, so to speak. And he's gone. Whoops, I fired just a little bit fast. Uh, fire this at this. And we still hit that and just, you know, before I had a time to make use of it. Oh well. Hopefully this can be fired at this guy. That's fine. Keep pulling him down like this. Fire it out everything with shields. Bye. Manta ship's gone. So he's gone. Let's go here. So he doesn't serve me, bastard. Go oh, here we go. We found a Zultan traitor. How fortuitous. So I have the option of getting a scrap recovery arm, but I don't really have the scrap for it. I could go for weapons. But none of these really look that great. What's this? Crystal lock bomb. Self teleporting explosive that does no damage but creates a dense wall brewing in movement or in and out of rooms. Can target your own ship. That could be useful. Sounds interesting. But you know what? We're not going to go for it. We're just going to uh, fix up our ship because it's still cheap at two. So we'll maybe fix it all the way up. And I'll say that's enough for now. There's another store up there, but we won't, we don't have time to get up to it. So here we go to so this way. Um, the automated platform seems to be damaged. You can likely steal as much fuel as, as remains. Steal it. If you take the fuel, at least it won't come into hands of the rebels. You breach the cannon and access what remains of the fuel reserves. So that'll be useful for later on. All right, let's go to Rebel Controlled. And I'll say this will be the last uh, sector for this video. The stress, we'll go to the stress, why not? You follow the stress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt, you find a small ship struggling to maneuver. Uh, you succeed in preventing them from, um, from being entirely destroyed, but your ship takes a number of hits. We only took one damage, that's fine. I'll take what they give me, basically free fuel, that's very nice. Let's go this way. Oops, my weapons are on fire and I just jumped. Um, this will be kind of dangerous to attack. Do I dare go for it? Yes, I do. I realize that I've got fire here, but this will be put out in a moment just because of the air, so it's not as bad a deal. I'm just going to fire just as piloting. And hopefully this will stay on. Didn't stay on long enough because it got damaged before you know charged all the way up. So I'm starting this off a little bit uh, recklessly. This uh, this battle. Charge this up. But it's fine. We're surviving. Did my hacking, because it got destroyed? Oh, this guy's just, you know, there. I can't see his stuff because the guy's, you know, depowered, so to speak. But once this gets enough power... 
I can see he's got 3 5 evasion and he's also got 2 piling, so that's how strong this guy is. Do that, and I'm just gonna go after shields. So I can't, uh, you know, avoid being um, capable of dodge my shots. No more dodge my shots, you will. Let's go after his uh, weapons with this. Well, better go after his weapons because I don't have any iron stunner. Lucky. There goes his weapons. They're off. Fire everything here. Nice, we took out his piling and uh, put on fire. And he's gone. So blah, blah, blah. And the similar ship just ran away. Because they do that. Oh no. Let's go here first. Let's go here next. Oh, bad choice. At least these guys um, can't breathe in here, so that's fine. And, of course, they can run around because there's no air in the ship. Send you up to here. Actually, no, let's do this and this. Do that. Don't want to have any air sort of gathering in the ship where I can, so... Do that. He got through, but these guys did their job. What if I could experience these guys if, um, essentially, if they, you know, they uh, are in the room when the guy dies? Because suffocation on these guys would, you know, mean that they would get very little experience. Let's go to the store before I get burned by a wave of fire. Okay, there's a stun bomb here, self throwing explosive that does one iron damage to all crew inside the room. That'd be kind of useful, but... I'm actually eyeing his hull laser one here. That looks very interesting. Possibly to use. Hmm. Let's actually do this because it's still cheap to uh, repair my ship. And yeah, I do want to have another weapon at some point, so now is as good a time as any to pick up, I guess, this hull laser. And I'll basically have to upgrade my uh, weapon, so to speak, to make use of it some, you know, on the ship. Let's go down here. We'll go to Nebula. Yes, we got lucky. Alright, um... I'm actually gonna have this guy... No, I'm up the 18 option here. But... I think we've managed to keep below 20. This is actually going up constantly, so... Alright, I have to pick a room for these guys to stay in. So we're gonna pick, uh... This one, so I don't have to, you know, have the auction... That's why I was going up that way. I had all these rooms go going up, that's why the auction was so high. But that should keep it from going up to 20. Just doing that. Okay, I caught that. Uh...
All right, let's accept this proposal. Awesome, we got ourselves a new crew member. So I got myself a new human, though. Honestly, I can't do much with him because there's so little, little... There's limited areas for this guy to be on his ship, so to speak, to make use of him. But I can leave him here with the pilot, and that's probably a good place for him. Hmm. Alright, this guy's got the super shield drone, and he's got the uh, anti-hacking type drone right there. He's got flat cannon, and he's got this, and he's got two ship shield pips. This guy's not going to be fun to fight. There goes the super shield. Oh, this is going to hurt. Wow, he missed me. That's nice. Okay, let's fire this at uh, shields. And then I'll fire this at weapons, maybe. Of course, I, I, you know, I had the misfortune of missing with the iron shot there. But at least we took out the super shield for a moment. Oh, weapons are down for a moment. Most fires again to get rid of the super shield and charge this up some more. Because, you know, it gets faster every time I fire it. There goes my sensors. We're taking damage. I'm already at like the plus two here, so next shot's gonna basically charge it all the way full. My shields took a hit. Hmm. So I guess having three rooms is the max I can have before I get to like 20 oxygen in this ship. I'm gonna jump from this guy because he's really, really defensive. Not really worth fighting. Let's go here. Enter an asteroid field. How fun is that? Combat drone. Not very fun. Alright. Much like before, I want to hit the shields, shields of this guy because, you know, um, if I hit the shields, then the asteroids won't be able to do anything. Or they'll be able to do a lot more, basically. So, I basically have shields there. Have to get back to engines. Let's have you get down to doors. Okay, this is a good time to fire off the ion at his shields, maybe. Oh, should charge that up a little bit, but well. Fire that now, fire this as piloting. If I take out his piloting, he won't be able to dodge any shots from the asteroids. I should probably keep firing this at him so that he has, you know, no shields at all at any real time. Boom! Holding his shields, that's cool. Fire D's here next. Only bad fans are able to charge his shields. This is another thing to hit his shields constantly, so the asteroids. I am taking some damage here. There goes, there it goes. My um, weapons are completely down. 
No how if, I, if I, it stops charging like that, I basically lose the charge on my cha chain laser. So it's now firing slower. Cool, we have weapons there. My shields took a hit. Actually, keep this guy here on the uh, thing here for now. Um, I'm just gonna pray and hope, so to speak. Take out shields. There goes his weapons. He's almost done. He just needs to take one more shot and boom. Ship explodes, very nice. I'm in danger, but we're not dead. I want to see something. Alright, so no, this guy does not get uh, more skill when he's like not in combat, so to speak, here with asteroids. All right, we got an AI with um, lots and lots of lasers and two shields. This will probably be a little bit threatening. A little bit, not too much though. Let's see here. I won't go after his piloting with it. It's only got basic evasion, so that's fine. Fire this at shields. Fire D's at shields. Boom, shield took a hit. Love those weapons of his are firing. They're very, very uh, quick. Nice, I'm actually getting our hit in there and knock down shields to one pip. Oh, there goes hacking. Fix that. Let's actually go after his weapons here. Take out one of the weapons at least. Good, shield pit before his laser fires again. There goes his mini beam. Now it's repaired. Nice. Getting those up. Take his shields down our pip there. Okay, there goes his shields for good. And we got him down all the way. Nice FTL recharge boosters collected. That's very nice. All right, I need to get my weapons up a little bit on the ship, so I will do that. I want to keep, I think, this up at this, you know, any given time to clone bay, so. 
where possible, I'll probably try and do that. I have another weapon pip so I can use the hollies if I want, but I'm not sure I want to uh, take off the Einstein rate. Well, maybe just use the extra weapons now for an extra hit point for a moment. Do I can use the hollies or any given at any given point I can use it. Let's go to store. So the FTL recharge booster, the ship's FTL power is up 25% faster. That's useful for running away, but do I really need it? All that. All this stuff. I suppose it's not really worth selling the FTL drive because I, I am running away from some battles, so. Let's just get to the exit. There's a refueling station here, but I don't have any scrap to buy anything, so have to ignore it. And we got the abandoned sector next, so when I come back, we'll be doing, joined by Lanius Brethren, so to speak. The sector was a site of a major battle between the Ferris and Rebel fleets. Strangely, there's very little evidence of those battles remaining. So yes, the abandoned sector. I'll see you guys in the next episode with Faster and Light for the Lanius Cruiser.